want to let me in, well, I'm going to let myself in. Dane went downtown, him and Jay, to John Street, found the office space. Had somebody come paint the hallways up. We thought it was so hot, like marble walls. We would come to work, and I was feeling my executiveness, but it was wild, you know, because we were still kind of rough around the edges. We had roaches in the water cooler, mice running around, no air conditioning. They were clearly rats. You had the dice games in the corner. When you looked in, you just, it was, you couldn't believe work was going on in there. <laughs> we had no furniture. Things that they thought to get for the office were a leather couch and a big screen TV. The things that the people needed to work, like a desk, a computer, uh, you know, those things came like later. None of the bosses, Damon, Jay, or Biggs, had ever had jobs. So it was just pretty much hands-on, learning as you go. You would be leaving at like 1 o'clock to go get something to eat, and they were like, where are you going? And we were like, lunch, hello, there's, there's things called lunch breaks people have in real jobs. And they were like, oh, oh, all right. So it was just really crazy and really unprofessional, but still the work got done. Tone Hooker. My partner Tone Hooker thought of that name, Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Like, it means everything. We took a white person's name and we we made it a black person's name. Rockefeller. You know, you think of Rockefeller, you think of prestige, but if you really critique it, it's like Rockefeller, so you mess with us, you may get hurt. So we're just gonna carry ourselves like rock stars, because we're the Rockefellers. You look large to be large. That was the whole model right there from the jump. We had all the Jay-Z jackets on, and we had the biggest limousine, and we got the license plates that say Jay-Z. <laughs> We just did anything to make noise, anything to get some attention. If someone had a show, we would just bum rush the show. Jays just start rhyming, kill it, shut the show down. He had a song called Coming of Age when he throws out a stack. It's a stack in the crowd. After the show, it was nothing but talk. I don't know what this Jay-Z dude is, but he got money. He must throw like $10,000 in the crowd. I mean, money respect money. Jay had the look, he had the jewelry, he had the money, and it didn't look like he was just talking about it. It looked like he was really, really, really living it. He was just the picture-perfect hustler's hustler. Like, people saw him and wanted to be him. People who saw what he had on wanted to buy that. People who saw what he drank wanted to drink that. We're drinking Cristal, and then all of a sudden, everybody started drinking Cristal. People weren't talking about Cristal until Jay started doing it. And that's like the Rockefeller lifestyle. You see the logo, you see the record, and you see the bottle of champagne. There was nothing acting about it. You know what I'm saying? That was just our lifestyle. Everything's just party, party, party. But at the same time, we was partying, we was promoting Rockefeller. We were all a crew, and we all want the same thing. We all want Jay to blow. He had a lot of songs recorded, but that president was like the one that everybody liked. He was just like, all right, let me just put this out. Got the city drinking Chris Dow's, we up the feet. Players going broke, trying to keep up with me. We were just trying to get a buzz in the street and doing everything ourselves. At that time, there wasn't no strategy, man. It was just straight guerrilla pimp. You hit all the DJs, you hit all the stores. We had a street team. Everyone with backpacks going handing out flies. Put up the posters. Jay-Z, Dame Dash, Big, selling records out the truck of their car. We had our street team driving the Benz. You just chase the street. You keep letting people know that this guy is it. It's part of the hustle of being an independent, you know, record company. They pushed that record real hard, as hard as they could do it. He was doing everything he could, but he didn't know how to get his records on the radio. It was definitely a time where we need to somehow figure out how we can take this to another level. Jay was like, they won't give my records the, the, the light of day. Wow. <laughs>